What beyond to diving into the Q and A beyond e com and digital, like what other kinds of business model changes do you guys expect to stick as we reach a new normal? Think think B two B channels. Think the B two B two C stuff that you're talking about, Victor. We are experiencing a huge growth on B two B two C without giving too many details. <laughs> But that is our experience. I think there are there are some big players, probably in relation to what we're just hearing. There are some big players that want to help and participate in the process of what smaller companies like us have. And they are facilitating infrastructure, logistics, presence, showrooms, and, and so on. Again, without disclosing much more, sorry about that, but I would say the B2B2C is, is being very present. Aside of the e-commerce that we were mentioning, that of course is just there, clearly. Yeah, I would echo that. We have really built, particularly with our Lysol business, a much bigger global business solutions team where we're looking at how we, what, our, what the role of Lysol is in, you know, airlines and hotels and really building that piece of the global business solutions. And I think just to add on that, whether I'm not sure it fully answers the question, but this idea of, you know, brands being truly global where you don't need to, you know, we've all been in our homes living in a very global world in some ways. So, you know, the need to be able to have presence in every market, physical presence, the need to have people in every market, the need to travel to every market. I mean, that's just been blown out of the water overnight. So I think that then gives people really interesting, our businesses, really interesting opportunities in terms of youth literature, like, well, how do I reach multiple geographies? Or how do I, you know, the channels that maybe were never open to you before, or weren't, didn't even exist, are now. And we see it with the small businesses that we partner with. Like they're, just, they're just breaking the rule books all the time, almost initially at a necessity, but then it's like, well, because this is how we do it. And it's exciting because it, you see then amazing brands emerging that would never have been able to do what they do um, b b yet for what's happened in the last year or so. So I, I think it's going to continue to evolve. 